Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. At the beginning of this live broadcast, uh, my dad talked about yesterday's experiences, his first time with Windows 8, as well as today's experiences with Windows 8 in a different way. I've talked before about how Windows 8 is likely going to come down the pike. Uh, it's going to have the Metro experience and the Aero experience. And the problem is, is that Microsoft is putting them both together in the same Windows experience. And I think that's monumentally stupid. The Metro experience works amazingly well in touch environments. The Aero experience perfectly well in the classic desktop environments with a mouse and a keyboard, or at least some kind of pointing device that's not your finger. Uh, Microsoft's trying to make everybody happy with the same operating system, and I think it's going to be a catastrophe. That's just what I'm saying, not just based on my dad's experiences with it for the first time on the desktop as well as uh, with touch, uh, but my own experiences in much the same way. I mean, we are, I believe, somewhat average users, right? I mean, computers in everybody's hands. I mean, we've got these things, these touch computers. We've got these desktop computers. We use computers for one reason or another. Some of us know more, some of us know less. So uh, my question to you is, do you think Windows 8 will be a success? Based on your experiences with the developer or consumer preview right now, based on what you've seen, uh, you know, where do you believe Microsoft's going to go with this? Will Windows 8 be a success? Give us your opinions. We've given you five reasons in the article linked in the description, just so you know. We, we, we've got no horse in this race. We, we would want to see it be successful. In fact, I've said this before, I would probably get a Windows 8 on a touch computer, uh, you know, a t or a tablet computer, uh, much like an iPad is. Uh, I would get Windows 8 on that, but I wouldn't probably be that excited about getting Windows 8 on a traditional desktop computer because Windows 8 shines on the mobile experience, especially with Metro, so long as you're only using Metro and not Aero. So the five reasons we came up with uh, in, in terms of we, we believe Windows 8 could be a success, uh, the Metro UI is simple. It's straightforward. It's easy to use. Uh, two, apps are inherently more secure. If you just shop through their app store or just go and click and download directly from what Microsoft is providing, uh, really, what could go wrong? How could you install malware? Uh, how, how would you even worry about viruses if the only thing you downloaded was specifically through Microsoft? I mean, imagine if a virus uh, came into uh, Microsoft's app store. Boy, that would be that would be a bad day for everybody. Uh, the third reason, one interface to learn across desktop and mobile devices. So there are two sides to every coin. Uh, I believe that it's uh, insane uh, to have both Aero and Metro in the same Windows envir environment or experience, uh, you know, flipping back and forth between the two. But the same could be said, or I guess... The opposite could be said, that could be a good thing, not necessarily just a bad thing, because what you learn on the desktop could translate to what you learn uh, on a mobile device. So you could have a desktop computer running Windows 8, or you could have a mobile computer running Windows 8 that's you know got a touch experience, and you wouldn't have to relearn anything. It's the same thing. Uh, I would err on the side of disagreeing with that viewpoint, but still, some people believe it's valid. Just in theory, not necessarily in practice. Uh, the th fourth thing, the, uh, well, well, I should go in and explain that Microsoft has, a, they've got a monumental task in front of them. Uh, but Windows 8, in how the, it's developing, specifically with Metro and that experience, not the Windows that you've known for years, not the Aero experience or before that Luna uh, we're talking about Metro, and I think there's going to be less confusion for every user in the long run if Microsoft focuses on the Metro experience moving forward. Uh, it is pretty amazing to see. It is pretty amazing to use when you're using Touch. I've done it. Uh, I, was, I was astounded. They have a bit of work to do, some uh, fit and finish, some polish uh, to put on that thing. Uh, but in the long run, people are going to be less confused. And I think that's a good thing for personal computing because uh, when, when it comes to power in, in technology, you don't want to wield that power and beat it over someone's head. That's not, power, that's not showing your power properly. If you want to surface the power of technology, make it 
accessible, make it easy to use. So uh, those are a few of our thoughts on why Windows 8 could very well be successful. Uh, you may agree or disagree. You, I'm sure you have your own thoughts. Take a look at the article. Uh, please uh, feel free to leave a comment there and here, and plus one it as well, uh, just like Alex Piero, Skylar Johnson, Jamie Bouch, uh, Stacey Ferris, and Matthew Sabia has done, and I just did right there so that everybody following me on Google Plus will see that uh, I want Windows 8 to succeed.